Hey everybody, it's Laura. I have another Harry Potter plan with me for the week of November 5th. As you can see, I have already put date covers on because last week I got real confused <laughs> with what day of the week it was because they're only off by a little bit. Um, so I put the date covers on and this kit is from Creating & Co. The foiled date dots are from M. Crystal Prince, I think. I've already put them away, but <laughs> um, it is the week of November 5th and we are using this super, super beautiful kit from Creating & Co. I used another version. I'll link it up here. Um, but this is sort of like a revamp of the kit and this has more fall colors and I have been waiting to use this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> um, so it says happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the light. And then you have these kind of like woodsy patterned ones. You have the stag in a couple different versions. This one says expecto patronum. This one says always with the deathly, ha deathly hallows sign. And this one says swish and flick. Oh my gosh. The purple is so pretty, and I love how deep and dark everything is. We have check uh, list things, checklist flags, <laughs> half boxes, cancel for schedule not happening, creating a cone and releases two flags, hello weekend, and then you have six bubble boxes. And then we have headers, little things, and habit trackers. This is the bottom washi, which is a little bit skinnier, which I'm excited about because I'm in a B6. Um, and then we have quarter boxes and washi strips, which are seamless. So you can actually make three more full boxes out of those, which is so cool. We have the checklist boxes and then um, a habit, like a weekly tracker and dots at the bottom. And then this is where the date covers were. And then you have deco. Um, like functional icon kind of things and her little owls and stuff like that. Very, very fun. And then I did pick up the glitter sampler, which has glitter headers, um, little bubble boxes outlined in glitter, and then quarter boxes outlined in glitter as well. So there is tons of stuff to work with. Um, I'm very, very excited. <laughs> um, and you do only have the three colors. So I'm going to use all three colors on like maybe purple, black, gray, purple, black, or something like that. But then I'm not sure what I'm going to do on the weekend, how that's going to turn out, but we're just going to start on Monday through Friday, make it work, and then figure it out from there. So yeah, I do have um, these boxes. I probably won't need to write this many things every day, but they're really pretty, so I'm going to use them. And we're just we're just going to go with it. So let's see. I think, what do I want? What did I do before? I did checklist at the top and full boxes at the very, very bottom. So I think I'm going to do full boxes at the top this time. And like I said, I think we're just going to, whoopsies, that's two. <laughs> I think we're just going to kind of go in order. And I don't know, just start. We're just going to start and see where this takes us. So purple, black, silver, purple, black. I have a feeling I'll have a purple and a silver on the weekend, which is fine. And then one more purple for over here. I'm so excited about the glitter. I'm excited about all of it. I think it's really pretty. And then, what did I say, full boxes? So we're going to put a purple full box. Actually, I wonder if I should do it different. Like if I should put the purple on a different day. Hmm. I don't know. Like, is that too much purple? Like I could put those on the purple days. I could put this on the gray day, like the silver day.
Okay, I am back and I think I just did this off camera. I had to like um, cut this off of the sticker paper. So I trimmed this and my scissors were in a different spot so I had to get up <laughs> um, and I uploaded footage. And then I put this down and then I just trimmed a piece of the washi, like the bottom washi. So these are the same height. So I just trimmed that piece off and fit it in there. I did actually have to trim a little bit more off this end. It was too wide, but there you go. There's just that little piece there. Um, I'm going to put in, I'm going to use this for videos and then I'm going to put in uh, my dinner little things on every day. So I'm going to grab those. Oops, I'm sticking those together on my hand. I need to be careful. So videos on the sidebar, dinners in the spread. I've actually really enjoyed having both of them on the sidebar recently, but that's in my ear and quadrant because obviously there is more room. And I did switch back to these inserts, but I think, um, so I'll have one, I think two more weeks. And then I think the week after this one that where this ends will be, um, Thanksgiving week, if I'm not mistaken. So I think I might switch back to dailies just so I can, well, I don't know because... I was going to say so I could like write down Thanksgiving memories and stuff, but like, I don't even know what's going on. We'll see, I guess, in a couple weeks if I switch to a daily. I probably will for Christmas time because I will be with my family and friends and I'll have lots of memories to write down. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. So this is going to be too wide for this section. So I'm going to put the side with a little bit more pattern down first, and then I'll trim off kind of the dark edge over here <laughs> um, where it's just not much going on at the edge here. Like I said, it's just sort of dark. So hopefully that will come up. Perfect. Okay. So yeah, I will maybe switch. I don't know. I talked to my boyfriend last night about what his Thanksgiving plans are and he has no idea if he's staying here, going to California, who knows. <laughs> However, he is leaving on the 10th to go to Massachusetts and he'll be back on the 16th. And then on the 17th, I bought our, um, Fantastic Beasts, um, tickets. So I'm really excited about that because um, I can't wait to go see it. <laughs> Quite frankly, that's really all there is to it. I'm just really excited for that movie. So, yeah. Okay, let's go day by day because I'm getting confused. So Monday is just a video as far as I know right now. Tuesday, I think, is just election day and I want to mark that somehow. Um... I never know how to mark this. My third plan with me and I'm still like, what do I do? <laughs> um, maybe a, oh, maybe a box like this with the stars in it because stars can be like America. <laughs> How's that? Does that make sense? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll put election day there. And then on Wednesday, I have Pilates. So I think I will use one of these little, should I use this or should I use, I'm going to use a bubble box because they're my favorite. Um, I think I'll put it down towards the bottom because it's in the evening. So it'll be Pilates and then dinner. Perfect. Wednesday is also a video, but that will be over here. Thursday is my Hungry Root delivery because that's when it's scheduled to come. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. So I think I'll take a purple quarter box and I'm going to put it at the top this time or near the top, leaving a little bit of white space between things just because I like a little bit of white space. Perfect. I don't know if I have any icons. I mean, I have a grocery icon. It is groceries. Just 
Sure, we'll stick that in there. Okay. Um, I'll link up here to a hunger root video if you have no idea what I'm talking about. And then I might have a training that day. I'm just going to leave it blank because if I mark it and then I don't have one, it's going to take up a lot of room because this is a smaller planner, so I'm not going to do that yet. Friday I'll be filming. I can put that in my checklist, but I'm not sure what else is going on that day. If I don't need it down here, I might put it in this section. We will find out as the week goes on. And then Saturday, like I said, my boyfriend is leaving to go to Massachusetts. So I think I'll take this quarter box now and put that in here. I don't know if I have a plane. I don't think her kits come with planes. Um, I don't see anything resembling a plane, so I'll find something later. And then Sunday is Pilates, so I used a bubble box last time, so we'll use a bubble box again. And I'm going to leave it down at the bottom just because the weekend banner is also a purple bubbly shape, and I don't want them right next to each other. And then I have a bill this day if I actually, it's for Glam Planner, um subscription so we'll see if I actually keep it this month or not I haven't been recently which is fine I have so many kits and I've been not using my characters quite as much because I'm just so obsessed with foil so you know things come and go I forgot to mark on Friday reading this is Friday <laughs> just kidding so I think I'm gonna take the Actually, I think I'll take the meal little thing um, because I'm going to cover it anyways and I would only have two little things left, so that doesn't really help at all. It's not like I'm going to save them for another spread. And then there's a little stack of books right here on this sheet. So I'll put the stack of books there, put what I'm reading there. I'm currently reading Breakfast of Champions and I think I'll finish it on Friday because I only read it every Friday when I'm at work. It's by Kurt Vonnegut. Oh, and then there was a planner. So we'll put that in my checklist for filming. Really, really cute. And then we kind of have this space as always to deal with. <laughs> um, and I never completely know what to do with it, but that's okay. So I think I'm going to start. I did put this other full box down here and I'm going to put a glitter header over it. And then I'm going to put this checklist, even though I have like to do checklists and things here, um, I typically memory keep in that space, so I don't actually use this as a to-do list. I'll use these two as kind of to-do lists or don't forget or whatever, but not right here. Um, and then I'm going to put another glitter header. And then I don't know what to do right there like I sort of just want some deco but I could put the like always sign is that weird with the little squiggles sticking out of it I actually don't mind it hmm I think I'm going to and it will just go up there to the happy thought box. And then I have flags here that I'm going to accent the box with. Since normally I would put a glitter header at the bottom, but we're just doing it differently today. <laughs> um, and then we have this little Felix Felicis um, bottle. And I'm going to put it here because, you know, you have like good luck with that. So that's fun. <laughs> I'm going to turn this into a Happy Mail list because I am going to be getting some Happy Mail this week. Um, okay, we're going to do that. I probably should have whited that top line out. Let's see if I can do that real quick. Just pull that up a little. Oh, 
Okay, so that's now a little Happy Mail section, and I'll get a little script to put in there. And then here's the little Felix Felicis bottle, the always sign. I don't actually hate the little squiggle. Let me know what you guys think of that little section. And then I'll leave priorities there, and then these turn into memories. Um, so I think I'm going to take the glitter, um, well, I don't know which ones, maybe the glitter bubble boxes, and... I think I'll do silver and then purple and that way I can write memories or a specific day or whatever. Sometimes I memory keep about just one day. Sometimes it's like for the week. It just depends on what happens the week of whatever I'm planning. Okay, so I can write in there, and then I can memory keep in this section down here. And I typically put deco, I zoomed in, now I feel like you can't see anything. Um, okay, that's okay. Whoa! I typically put deco in these little sections over here. Um, to spice it up a little. So we have the stag, we'll put a little chocolate frog right there. We have Luna's glasses and the wand. Luna's glasses don't really go. We'll just stick them down there. Um, we also have the jelly beans, which don't really go. <laughs> Actually, a lot of this deco doesn't like go with the kit because it's not in the same colors, but that's okay. It's all Harry Potter themed, right? I'm going to put the magic wand, I think, over here. Just as a little deco on this sidebar piece. Oh, I should have put a stag there. I could have done that. Oh, well. I can always fit him in somewhere else or just save him. Um, I have lots of stars and things, but I think I'm going to save those also for either another spread or um what you call it like if I need to fill spaces in um sorry I've got my little my little charms over here this one is from Dutch Girls Design I have a code for 15% off in the bottom bar if you're interested they also have stickers and then this is from Plumy Crafts if you have never seen those before they make a lot of noise on my planner <laughs> these paper clips are all Plumy Crafts also this is the Ravenclaw crest this is platform nine and three quarters and that's a Hogwarts letter if you can see there they're very cute okay anyways <laughs> very off track now. This is my spread and everything that I know for right now. Um, let me grab a few other stickers and fill in a few things and then I'll be right back. Okay, last few things here. Um, my boyfriend leaves on the 10th and I'm going to put a little plane. These are from... Charm and Print, I think is the name of the shop. And then I said I was going to label Happy Mail. These are from Rose Colored Days. They are not foiled because they were from a glitch grab bag, which she's having. Let's see. You should be watching this on a Monday. And they will go up tomorrow, I think. Okay, if I can get them off the sheets. They're really, really cute. <laughs> Again, they're from a glitch, so... That's why. Okay, these are in Nikki Plans handwriting, which is really, really cute. And then I'm going to use the workout stickers also because there are two of them, which is perfect for me going to Pilates twice this week. Oops. You can see they're like overcut. And I'm sure she knew that before she foiled it, so she didn't bother foiling it because why would you? Okay, so we're going to put workout in that bubble box and then we have workout on Wednesday so we'll put workout in that bubble box love it and then I keep forgetting to mark Veterans Day Veterans Day is on the 11th and I do have a Veterans Day sticker here um, and I'm gonna put it up here on the the full box so I'm going to need something to put it on top of so let me grab a purple box here. I think I'm going to put it up in the stars just because um, you don't lose as much of the image that way. And then I have these. Again, they were from a glitch 
Well, these might have been, I don't know. I always order one unfoiled also. Um, oops. So I'm not sure if these were from a glitch bag or my unfoiled order. Who knows? It's a little hard to read the day part, but it's okay. The veteran's part is quite clear. My boyfriend is a veteran, but he will be out of town. And I don't know that it's like something you really like celebrate, celebrate. Like, I don't know. Uh, these are from Moose and Mittens. These are script stickers. These are um, like a like a sampler kind of thing. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> and I'm going to put the time to plan sticker. And I'm going to actually layer it over the hearts because I don't really need to check them off exactly. So we'll put time to plan down there with the cute little planner from the kit. And I think that is everything else I needed to mark. So I marked my workouts time to plan um, my boyfriend's plane trip and then Veterans Day. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. I think it is really, really cute. I love the purple with the silver and the black. It's just so simple, like such a simple color combination. The artwork is so pretty. I love the swish and flick, swish and flick box, the mountains, everything. It's it's just such a good shade of purple. I'm not even like a big purple person, but it is such a good, good shade. It works really well with this kit. I'm really, really pleased with it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, anyways, this was from Creating & Co. Like I said, I will link her down below. And if you have any questions about where anything else is from, like if you see these papers peeking out or whatever, um, let me know. And I'll answer you because I love talking to you guys. Okay, have a great day. Let me know if you have tickets for Fantastic Beasts yet. What day are you going? I'm going on Saturday, so you better not spoil anything for me off on Friday if you're going. <laughs> and I will catch you guys in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.